Hey everybody, it's Chris again. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are going to be doing a first impressions. Not exactly first impressions, more like my impressions on this new makeup line by makeup artist Albert Kurniawan. It is called Teviant. Now, Albert is a friend of mine. I have attended a workshop of his when he came here to Cebu before, and he did teach me a lot of tips and tricks when it comes to makeup. He's also the very famous makeup artist of celebrities such as Heart Evangelista and Kim Chu. His specialty is Chinita makeup, and so I've seen him work firsthand, and I can really say that he's a really good makeup artist. So I'm very excited to talk to you guys about this new makeup line that he has come up with. It's taken him years to come up with this baby and I'm very happy to have a lot of his products here with me today. He has actually gifted these products to me and I'm very very happy that I was able to play with them for the past month and a half I would say and so in today's video you guys will see firsthand how these products apply. First things first we are going to be talking about the Teviant tweezers. Now, tweezing my eyebrows is the first thing I do after I prep my skin before I start my makeup. And I find it really awesome that Teviant has created their own tweezers. I love the color and the weight of this. It feels very sturdy. It looks very beautiful. Rose gold is not a common color that you can find tweezers in. And I'm very particular with tweezers because a lot of the times when I purchase tweezers in the drugstore, they don't exactly get these little hairs that I want to pluck out when I'm cleaning this part under my eyebrows. Sometimes if the tweezers aren't precisely synced together or if they're not super sharp, they don't really get those baby hairs out. But this, I have tried in the past and I've been absolutely loving it. I'm gonna zoom you guys in closer so you can see exactly what I mean. It's very, very sharp and it's really able to pluck out those really thin baby hairs. It's able to take out the hair like in one go, so it's less painful. Although I don't really find this painful, but to those of you who do, you will find this very, very easy to work with. I only ever plop below the arch of my eyebrow and never above, so I don't end up over plucking and it looks clean but natural. All right, there you go for the tweezers. I really, really like them and I hope you guys were able to see how that easily cleaned up the lower part of my eyebrows. Moving on, we're gonna move into eyebrow products. This one is called the Precision Eyebrow Tint. This is in the shade Her and as you can see, there are three lines on top here and that is because it's gonna allow me to draw in hair-like strokes onto my keyline. So I'm just gonna follow the strokes of my natural hair. Upwards and slightly outwards. And when it goes here, I'm just gonna lay it horizontally. So just to show you guys precisely how it looks like on bare skin, I'm gonna swatch it for you here. With a light hand, this is what it looks like. You can really see that it's precisely drawing stripes onto my wrist. But if I do a little bit of pressure, then it just sort of mixes those lines together. And this is what it looks like when you smudge it. It doesn't come off. I think it's fine if you're planning to go through this every day. It's going to give a little bit of a shadow to your eyebrow area, but it's not too thick where it looks really unnatural. This is a wet tissue. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like when I wet it. It comes off with pressure, so it is not waterproof, but it is good for everyday use. Now for this other eyebrow, I'm gonna go in with another Teviant product. The problem with their packaging is that it is a very shiny rose gold, so you can really see all the fingerprints and you can tell that I have used this product already. Now this product is called the Highness Eyebrow Duo Powder. It comes with two colors, a lighter shade and a darker shade, and this mini brush over here that is really not that bad. I really enjoy using it as well. If only it were bigger, I think it would be a really amazing brush. But for a brush that comes free with a palette, I think it's already very, very good. And the reason why it has two shades, I think, is because Albert likes to do a darker brow here and a lighter brow here, so there is more depth and dimension to your eyebrow. It's not one solid block color, but sort of like a play with shadows as well. That is something that I learned when I attended his workshop, and so I think that is the reason why there are two shades here. Starting with this darker color, I'm going to apply that onto the tail of the eyebrow here. And as you can see how slim this line is, this brush is a very precise applicator, which is why I really like it. It's just hard to hold because it's so tiny, but aside from that, I think it's really, really good. 
So I'm just going to apply that here on the end or the tail end. And I'm going to use this lighter shade and apply that onto the inner part of my brow. Now with the spoolie that also comes with this brush, I'm just going to brush that out and make it look more feathery and natural. So as you can see, there's a big difference in the two products that I used. This one is definitely more of a shadow, it's more diffused, it's more subtle. It looks like a powder, it looks like there's makeup on there. But this one looks a lot more natural. The hairs are more defined and it feels like I have naturally bushy eyebrows and there's no product in there. So it definitely depends on what makeup look you want to go for, but this is what it looks like using this product and this other side is what it looks like using the shadow. Alright, now we are moving on to the two eyeshadow palettes that I have. I think Albert has three or four palettes, but I only have two with me today. The first one is called the Mademoiselle palette, and this is the one I think in collaboration with Heart Evangelista. It comes also in this very beautiful packaging. It is rose gold, it is a mirrored finish. But the only thing that I dislike about this packaging is that it does feel a little bit plasticky and for the price, I would expect a firmer, more solid kind of packaging for the eyeshadow. It looks very beautiful, but I think it just is a little too plasticky for my taste. So when you open it, it has a very nice substantial mirror here, which you can use easily when you are doing your own makeup. It's very big and it's very easy to apply your makeup if you're traveling with this palette alone. It also has this little cover, Tevion cover here which will protect your shadows from getting your mirror messy. As you can see, the colors are more on the cool tones. So you have your purples here, you have some blues, you have your whites, you have your greens, and you have some nice shades that you can blend them all together, like little browns that you can create shadows and contours on your eyes with. The next palette is called Queen, and if I'm not mistaken, this is also another collaboration with Heart Evangelista. I have the same thoughts on the packaging. The colors, I feel, are a lot more wearable. Again, it has this clear Tevian plastic, and these are more on the warmer shades, which I feel are easier to wear, especially now that they are on trend right now. As you can see, there are a lot of warm shades, brown here, reds, oranges, yellows, white, and your usual black colors. The only color here that I think is a little bit on the wild side is this purple one, and if you are a little bit on the safer side, this red one. But I feel like overall, compared to the palette earlier, this one is definitely easier to wear. Now to make this a little bit more interesting for you guys, I'm going to apply the Queen palette on my right side, and I'm going to apply the Mademoiselle palette on my left side, but I'm only going to be creating really wearable looks, so you guys can easily see which of these palettes are more useful for you. Now I'm going to have to decide how I'm going to make these colors wearable for an everyday look. I think I'm going to go with Mond, which is green. It's not exactly the most wearable, but I think it would be useless to go for the browns and then go for this palette. I mean, you can just go for any other eyeshadow palette with browns. I'm gonna take Mond, and as you can see, it comes in this really effervescent green here. Look at that color. Very, very beautiful foil finish. I'm just gonna apply that here. Whoa. Look at how pigmented and beautiful that color is. Wow. So I'm taking more of that and just applying it here all over the lid area. And then I'm gonna take Nuit, which means night in French. And I'm gonna put it onto a little fluffy brush and I'm gonna use that to buff into the edges of the crease. Just blending that out. And I think I'm gonna add a little bit of warmth by going into this cafe color, which is a regular blending brown, just to tie in both shades together. There are a lot of different looks that you can play with and make using this palette, but I feel like you need to be more on the adventure side because I don't think it's common for people to be wearing purples, blues, and greens for an everyday kind of look, especially in the Philippines. But I will put a photo here of a look that I created using blues and purples. And I really had fun creating that look, and the only palette that I used to create that look was this Mademoiselle palette. So if you guys are more on the adventurous side and you want to try it out, definitely check out this palette. Now I'm going to take a C'est La Vie, which is this white color. I'm going to take it onto a flat brush and I'm just going to use that to put under the eyebrow area. So I've cleaned that up a bit. It is looking a little bit messy because of all the frosted colors mixing together. Voila! That is my look for this eye. I'm going to go in with Mont again using a smaller brush and I'm just going to use that to connect the bottom going in with meat. Um, I'm 
we are gonna go into eyeliner and lashes a bit later but for now let me work on this other eye using the other palette now this I feel will be easier to create a more wearable look to be fair I'm not gonna go in with any of the browns so it's equally the same, very pigmented and frosty. Put that all over the lid, just like how I did it on the other eye. I love how easily it blends, especially when I use my fingers. I could go out wearing this shadow alone. I, it's very, very nice. This is actually the color Luxor, and now I'm gonna go in with the color Nile, which is the same color but in a matte finish. And I'm just gonna use that to blend the edges of this Luxor color. And wow, that is really blending out really, really well. I think I'm gonna use Scarab, which is a shimmery brown color. And I'm just gonna use that here on the edges, the outer edge, to create more depth. Say hello, Bachi Bear. Hello. You like my makeup? You like my makeup, baby? <laughs> All right guys, now I'm gonna take a smaller brush and I'm just gonna go through Luxor and Nile again. And I'm gonna add that to the bottom lash line like I did on the other side just to tie the whole look together. Last but not least, I'm gonna go in to this worship color. I'm gonna take it onto my pinky finger and I'm just gonna add that here on the inner corner. And look how pigmented that is and look how easy it is to create a playful look with this palette. Ta-da! Albert did send me two of their liquid eyeliners, so this is what it looks like. One is in the color Duena. I'm gonna swatch that for you now. As you can see, that is a blue, very precise pen. And the other one is in the shade Colleen. This is a very beautiful emerald green color. And I love how it's so easy to make lines. It's very clean, it's, there's no split end on the brush. I love how Albert was creative enough to go from the usual black and brown and opt for a blue and a green eyeliner instead. So this is what it looks like when I rub it. As you can see, nothing has changed. It doesn't budge, it doesn't smudge. I'm gonna take a wet wipe here and wipe it off and it is gone. So blue eyeliner first. This is again in the shade De Yuna, Duena. It looks gorgeous with this eye makeup look. I normally don't like using pen eyeliners. I find it very difficult to use. But this one just really glides on super softly. It's not hard at all. Very, very easy. And I'm gonna make a wing right now so you guys can see how precise this brush is. And voila. Can you guys see that? Very subtle, very beautiful. I think it is a very nice way to play up your normal everyday makeup look. I'm also gonna apply that onto the bottom. And this just makes your eye makeup look look very electric. All right, trying on the green eyeliner now onto the other side. As you can see, the color comes out very evenly. The pen is very soft. Apply that onto the bottom as well. And as you can see, it's very easy for me to create like a thicker line here in the outer corners of my eyes and make it thinner as you go along. It looks very natural. All right, guys, we have one last product, but there are many different variants of this product. It is false eyelashes. Now, if you guys know Albert Grignan, then you know that he's famous for his false eyelashes. He likes to apply two to three eyelashes in one makeup look on top of each other. And I think that is a very common Indonesian practice. Albert is from Indonesia, if you guys don't know. And Indonesian makeup is all about the eyes and heavy makeup and putting it all out there and being super extra. Tevian has come up with their own eyelash line and this one is in Nelly. He also has one for bottom lashes. This is called Linda. Tyra, which is a little bit on the longer and more playful side. Love, I think this is a very Demi Wispies kind of lash. Grace, which is also for the bottom lashes. And last but not the least, we have Naomi, which is the most playful. So because this makeup look is a little bit extra, we are going to go for Naomi. Naomi. When you open the box, it comes in this packaging and it also has this little instruction manual. So if you guys are not good with putting false eyelashes, this is a super simple how to apply false eyelashes guide for beginners. There is no glue that comes with a package. So I will use this glue that I have from Nippon.ph. 
And I also have this one, which is an eyelash applicator. This is also from Tevion. It also comes in this very, very beautiful rose gold color. So I'm gonna use that to extract the eyelash from this packaging. Sometimes I feel like if you don't have a tweezer like this to take out the eyelash, then you have to use your nail and then it could damage the eyelash. So this is what the Naomi looks like on my eyes. It's very, very extra and it did transform the look. As you can see, my eyes look huge here compared to here. I'm gonna apply this quickly on the other side and I will catch you guys in a bit. There you go, guys. This is what the eye makeup looks like up close and personal. As you can see, the greens look absolutely beautiful. It's not something that a lot of people would commonly wear, but I feel like it is a very nice option and it's nice that we have a palette that allows us to be more creative and allows us to be more playful with our looks. This one is more on the warmer shade, so I feel like it's easier to wear for an everyday kind of look. And of course, the lashes are very beautiful and they really play up your eyes and make it look a little bit more dressy. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that little review I have of Tevion by Albert Kurinyawan. I hope Bashi Bear wasn't too annoying and noisy for you guys. If I'm not mistaken, Tevion is going to launch tomorrow or today, so you will be able to find Tevion more easily in our local department stores. I hope this video will give you a little bit more insight on which products of theirs that you want to try out for yourselves. That being said, if you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to leave us a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment down below, and we will see you in the next one. Bye! Mm.